When I go down to my basement, I get to the bottom step, I turn, and I look and see these four cabinets, and I feel a tremendous sense of accomplishment. That's because I bought the cabinets online. They came in big boxes, and I had to take all of the pieces and construct it and put it together. It took me a lot of time. I was determined, and I was successful. I accomplished it. So every time I look at those cabinets, I feel good. And yet, <laughs> there is something else that I feel. That's because on one of the cabinets at the bottom, each of the cabinets is white. The bottom of one of the cabinets is not white. It's actually wood color. The wood is showing. And the reason is, is that I made a mistake. So I'm reminded of my mistake every time I look at the cabinets. Mixed emotions. What happened? Well, when I was putting the cabinets together, I skipped a step. And because I skipped a step and I only realized it after the cabinet was completed, it contained a hole and glue, and there was no way to turn that piece back. So I'm reminded constantly about the lesson in life, the importance of taking everything one step at a time, making sure that we finish, we accomplish before moving on to the next step. The Torah tells us in this parsha that Hashem said to Moshe, Kechol asher ani when it comes to building the Mishkan, Whatever it is that I show you, meaning however Hashem showed Moshe to construct the Mishkan, you should do as Tavnis HaMishkan, as Tavnis Kol whether it's the Mishkan itself or all of its vessels, V'chein Ta'asu, and thus you should do, which seems that those two words, V'chein Ta'asu, seem extra. And Rashi explains that it means Lidoros, forever. Rashi explains that the Torah is teaching us here a Seder an order. That everything in life has an order, just like the building of the Mishkan had an order. Now, Simcha Banu Pshischa explains even further. And he says, when it came to the Aron, for example, the Ark, when the Aron was built, there was the Aron, the box itself, then there was the Tabaos, the rings, then there was the Kaporas, the cover, the Kruvim, the, we had the Badim, we had the staves, on the sides, the poles on the sides, and then finally the luchos were placed into the Aron. And so he says that Hashem is teaching us with the words, as Rashi says, the ta'asu lidoros, for generations, that when it comes to anything that we do in life, if we want to be successful, we have to make sure that we go in order, that we don't skip a step, because potentially, if we skip a step, we're skipping the experience that we gain through the, the, the step itself. So whether it's building something and skipping a step, or whether it's on a professional level, or on a Torah level, or whether it's our interactions with others and building a relationship, there are madregos, there are levels that we climb. And if we climb straight to the top without touching all the other levels first, we may think that we're getting to the top but usually, what ends up happening is that we lose out on the experience that makes us stronger and more successful as we go along the rungs of the ladder. So may we be zoche, may we merit that we look at everything we do in life, we make sure that we're able to internalize each and every step, that we don't skip or jump, so that we can truly make sure that our experience is worthy for ourselves. Thank you for listening and have a good chance.